welcome back to my channel. I'm Tierra Nicole and it's almost Easter and I wanted to make my baby an Easter basket but I've never done it so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to a couple of stores and pick up some stuff. I mean like he doesn't really eat candy or anything like that so I don't even know what to put in an Easter basket but join me. That's right. <laughs> Take all this crazy fiasco. The sun is out and it's like 70 degrees. It has been really cold and dreary the past couple of days. So the girl is out with them shoulders out. Maybe this will start to motivate me to lose some weight, you know? Cause it's summertime, it's around the corner. All right, so I'm gonna try out five below. I've actually never been in this store, so I don't quite know if I'm gonna find anything, but if it's anything like the dollar store. I should have no problem. Oh my god, it's like a smorgasbord of Easter stuff. Perfect. <laughs> this is like the cutest thing. So I guess the first thing I have to do is find a basket for the Easter basket, right? So they have a different variety of baskets and different sizes and everything. And they have like these like fabric kind but the first thing that I saw baskets on a budget hello this is my name bougie on a budget so like I said because he's only two a small basket is perfect and of course you gotta have the little plastic grass oh but I don't know he loves baby shark so I'm wondering if this is better and of course they have the baby shark what the heck is this oh smarties like i said he doesn't even eat candy he's only two but this is cute for decoration so we're gonna add this in there all right and see they have like all these different toys and stuff like that but like i want to make sure that it's actually gonna be something that he's gonna play with and that he recognizes but he does like little truck things, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this Super Mario truck. These are so cute. <laughs> he absolutely hates anything on his head. So even more reason to get it. Nope, these aren't gonna work. Ooh, what's this? Let's see here. Shark bubble blower. Hmm. Yep, we we'll get it. <laughs> Shut the hell up. A damn dipping clip. <laughs> this is why I can never get anything done because I'm always sidetracked. Maybe I do have ADD. I'm always like, oh my God. <laughs> this would be a nightmare waiting to happen. This kid would have it all in his hair, on the couch, on the carpet, everything. So Play Doh is a Big no no. I think this is good, hopefully, for a basket. Let's go. So I got my stuff and I did pretty good. Now let's go put it together. <laughs> all right, so let's see what I got and then try to put it all together and make it look pretty. So here's everything that I got and I'm hoping that it is enough. Okay, so we have the baby shark. We have the baby shark basket well this is actually like a bucket but I think it's cool because it's definitely durable for a two-year-old and I got like the two different color blue grass and I just want to make sure like I had enough to fill this big old bucket but I do want it to look cute oh, <laughs> oh my god all kinds of are you kidding me So my camera died right in the middle of it, but I did it! Ta-da! My very first DIY Easter basket, and I have to say, y'all, I did a damn good job. It is so cute! So, like, I inadvertently did, like, a baby shark-esque type thing because I had the baby shark egg the little bucket and look the little bubbles so everything literally 
fit just perfect now of course all of this down here is nothing but the little grass but years to come i'm gonna definitely fill it more with more stuff but again he's only two so i'm not gonna be wasting my money on stuff i know he's not going to use so i am really proud of myself y'all and then the coloring book, I didn't get any crayons because, like I said, the crayons have to be washable because this boy be coloring all on walls. I don't know if y'all can see that, but he colored on my wall. He be coloring on everything. So washable crayons is important. But I'm really proud of myself and, like, the little ears. <laughs> That's, like, the first thing I'm going to put on him, I swear. But, y'all. I am really proud of I think for the first DIY basket on like the little random toy car I think I did a damn good job I'm gonna start selling them on Etsy honey okay I am really excited as <laughs> y'all see I'm pumped I was really worried and stressed like uh I don't know what the hell I'm doing but y'all I made a little masterpiece now, let's just see if this child is going to appreciate the efforts that I put into this. Now, I got to try to find a place to hide it for the next, like, four or five days. But, boo things, you two, look, if I could put together an Easter basket, y'all definitely could do it. You don't have to spend a lot of money. This was probably, like, a total of $30 for everything. So go to like your five below Dollar Tree, put together some stuff that you know your kid is going to like, and voila. All right, boo things, thank you for joining me. And until next time, I'm finna keep going with this DIY. What can I DIY next? Stay true, stay blessed, and stay in love. I'm the new DIY queen.